What's up guys, John here from Titan, and I've got one of my good friends here, and maybe you recognize him, maybe you don't, but let me introduce him to you. So this is my good friend Thaddeus Bullard, aka the WWE Titus O'Neil. That's right, so he does a lot of different things from philanthropy, uh, athletics, uh, he's an ambassador for WWE, and a lot, lot more. He does tons of stuff for the local community. You see him all around town, and you might even see him at a lot of different games all around across the country, because his sons play, right? You yeah. play college ball yeah. and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, my son's a freshman at UCF, and then uh, I got several family members on various teams throughout the country, and obviously friends throughout the NFL, NBA, whatever, so yeah, you'll definitely see me. <laughs> See me, see me at a sporting event for sure. He's on the boat. So it, it's really awesome to have him in here. I know his time is super valuable um, and he's all around. So I wanted to get him at least in here so we can talk to him. You know, not only is he a great person or like that, he's a good friend, but he's also a tight patient. So, um, you know, I want to get, you know, his scoop on how things are going. He's been with us for a while now and maybe you guys get the take on what he's doing or possibly how he's feeling. So, you know, so how has Titan uh, affected daily activity? as far as performance and all that. I know you travel a lot and all these different things. Well, that's the, the biggest difference. I mean, for me, as, as, and the biggest help with Titan has been the fact that I do travel, you know, a lot, uh, every week, you know, all over the world. And, uh, you know, fatigue is a real thing if you, uh, if you don't have the right regimen, uh, along with nutrition and everything else. Uh, but sometimes I don't really like to deal with the nutrition part, but I do have a good regimen with Titan. Uh, I'm just being 100% transparent. Uh, anybody that follows me on Instagram, sees my stories, they know for a fact I'm not like the biggest health nut at all. I'll have some, sprinkle some healthy food in here and there, uh, but for the most part, my regimen that I'm on with Titan and have been on for a couple of years now yeah. uh, has been, uh, I mean, it's been amazing for me. It's been, uh, you know, I think it's probably been amazing for the people around me because I'm not as grouchy uh, <laughs> or angry as I probably would have been. Um, uh, so I definitely want to try to make sure I take every advantage I can to, to not only maintain a healthy lifestyle, but also to, uh, you know, I've been playing football, uh, you know, obviously wrestled for years with WWE and performed with them for years. But even prior to, and John, you, you can understand this, um, I mean, as kids, we did like the craziest stuff, running around, oh, playing, yeah. throw up, throw them up and blow them up football, yep. you know, in the middle of the street, That's you know. Right. <laughs> now guys don't even want to play on turf, you know. So, <laughs> right. um, um, kids don't even want to go outside anymore. Yeah, kids don't even want to go outside. They want to, you know, play video games, which they can make a lot of money doing that. Yeah. Uh, and, and YouTube and all that stuff. But for me, my body has taken a beating for a long time, even as a, you know, as a young kid. Like, I just think back to the crazy stuff that I did. Um, and being able to, you know, not only find Titan, but become, you know, a Titan family member. Um, and then see all the stuff, you know, that, that we all have in common. You know, everybody uh, with time and, uh, uh, Titan may not have the same regimen, uh, but they all have the same goal. The same goal is to look your best, feel your best. Um, and hopefully, you know, that inspires the next person next to you to say, hey, you know, what are you doing? And it's definitely done that for me, uh, you know, uh, training and working out. And people say, oh, there's no way you're 45 years old. Yeah, actually it is. Uh, and then they ask me, and then that's when I refer them right to Titan and say, hey, go talk to John and Sharice. They'll get you right. And, you know, I would, I would recommend that 10 times out of 10 just because I know how, how, it's, how, it's, how it's helped me. That means a lot, man. Definitely means a lot. You know, I, you know, I take a personal, uh, you know, stake in, in, yeah. in that is, man. Like I said, he's a good friend now and all that. So I want to make sure he is looking good, feeling good, and performing his very best. And the other thing is he's traveling a lot, right? So he's going through numerous airports, even though it's on private, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you got to go around a lot of different people. Yeah. You know, you're shaking hands, kissing babies per se. And, you know, it's, just, it's a lot of things, you know? Yeah. And, Little known fact, very important fact, knock on wood. But I am probably the only person within my circle that has never tested positive for COVID, wow. that has never had COVID, never even thought about, I don't think COVID even know who I am. Nice. Um, as, as John said, like I never stopped. I never stopped traveling. I never, um, never stopped working. Uh, and, you know, fortunately, like I said, knock on wood, uh, I have not tested positive or had COVID. Thank God. And, uh, 
you know, you can see me on Good Morning America, and uh, they uh, they so strict with their protocol. Oh, I bet. You got to take COVID test the night before. You got to take one day of. <laughs> they like, yeah, don't bring that up in here. So <laughs> shout out to Disney, you know, for always uh, making sure that everybody's uh, healthy uh, on set so that we can all perform, you know, without the stress and worries of um, getting sick. Getting sick, yeah. yeah man, that's, that's a big one. I've you know? seen people get it, and it's some of my best, closest friends have gotten it. It's, it's yeah. Been, it was tough. Oh, well, you know, it's not even that anymore. I mean, you've got that out there still lingering, but now you have all these respiratory viruses, yeah. Yeah. Uh, flus coming on, sinus infections are going crazy. A lot of these kids got it, and they're yeah. giving their parents, and then, you know, it's it's a domino effect, yeah. you know. So it's good to keep the body, you know, as, as optimal as possible. Glutathione, I know, is a good one as yeah. far as a super antioxidant, you know, um, helping with not only the liver, but free radicals in the environment. I mean, just that, too. I mean, traveling around, you get in a lot of different environments. Mm -hmm. You know, you're taking a lot of different things in, and uh, you know, it can be different in anywhere you, you go. So, that's awesome. Um, yeah. I, if there's anything else you want to add, uh, it's the holiday season. Oh yeah. You know, um, I'm sure you guys got to be running some type of special. Oh, for sure. I mean, for give sure. The gift, give the gift of health to yourself. That's right. But more importantly, give the gift of love and just being a great human being to people out there, regardless of what background they come from. Um, regardless of, uh, you know, whether they have money, you know, sexual orientation, political affiliation. Mm -hmm. I think heading into 2023, um, we like to say something around here called tighten up, you know. That's right. Um, and that is not just about, like, uh, being a Titan family member. Uh, obviously, that applies for me and for everybody else that's in this family. But that means for everybody out there, too, anybody can be a Titan anytime, any day, any place. That's right. And usually being a Titan is just being inspiring, being motivating, uh, uh, going the extra mile to be kind. You know, we got right. World Kindness Day coming up, you know, December 16th. Um, but you don't have to wait to that day to be kind. Uh, there are a lot of people hurting. Inflation is a real thing. Yes, uh, the pandemic, people were, were, were hurting prior to the pandemic. And now the pandemic, and you get a hurricane, and you get a tropical storm, and the list goes on and on. Of, of mounting issues that a lot of people are dealing with and facing. So we are, while we are very blessed, we are blessed um, to uh, live a, a very good life and be able to provide a good life to those around us. Uh, just keep in mind that there are some people out there that are hurting, especially during this holiday season, whether they lost a loved one around this time, or whether or not they just can't afford uh, to to do something for their own children. Um, if you see a, a toy drive or you see the ability to give back in one way or another prepare meals, get meals, buy food, you go to the grocery store, you're buying canned goods, buy two or three extra ones if you can, uh, drop it off to your local food bank and uh, and uh, help make this world a better place and more importantly, make, help make this holiday season leading into 2023 uh, a season of not only giving, uh, but living, living your best life, uh, doing everything you can to prepare yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, and spiritually to go into 2023 ready to go, ready to tighten up. That's right. And, uh, and uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to tighten up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What a great message. It's truly inspiring, man. I mean, you know, especially in your position, a lot of people, they don't have to do that, right? And you definitely don't. I know you're genuine about it. Yeah. That's the best yeah. thing. Yeah. It shows through in so many different ways, you know. Um, you want to tie us like, he took over the school, man. I mean, he's done so much for these underprivileged kids there, man. And they got a lot more opportunity just because of that. So, you know, tighten up all the way around you. Yeah. I think, you know, if you're feeling good and looking good, you can press it on to everybody yeah. else yeah. Um, and, and then show them some love and hopefully they'll feel that and, and get right along. So this has been a great uh, little little talk, I guess. Let me interview you. This is a talk yeah. with my man yeah. and good friend, Thaddeus Bullard, a.k.a. WWE Sensation, Titus O'Neill. We appreciate you guys. Have a happy holidays. Yeah. And uh, we'll come back to you guys with more cool stuff. And hopefully we'll have him back in here. We can talk about something else. Yeah. Um, but we appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you guys. And we'll see you guys soon. Peace.